How are you doing guys and welcome back. I'm out for what's probably going to be my last trip, my last overnight trip for 2020. It's the last time I've got a chance uh, in the calendar with everything that's going on um, to get out and do something. The weather forecast is for a clear day, clear night and a clear day tomorrow. So it just seemed like the perfect time to come out uh, and just do something. I've got two objectives for this outing. One, I want to get a good fire going, because if you watched my last video you'll know that I didn't get one going. And two, I want to try this new under blanket I've got for the hammock. At the moment it's about four degrees Celsius and it's obviously going to drop because there's no cloud cover. I just want to see if it does make a difference uh, to the hammock. Last time I used a roll mat, but yeah, I want to try this new under blanket and see how we got on. Also, I've got high hopes for cooking a great dinner, but more to that, if I get a fire going. So this is the spot that I'm going to camp for the night or put the hammock up. Um, it's a place that I saw a couple of years ago. There's another YouTube channel called Overland and Outdoors. Um, he's came here and I think since him and other people have came here it's become a popular spot because you've got stunning views up the lock both ways. Um, and obviously with that comes the, the problems of people leaving rubbish. I've just found a big bag of rubbish over there that they've literally packed into the bag ready to take home with them and they're just not bothered but there's winds coming down the, the glen or down the loch from the east so I'm going to get myself somewhere on this, the centre of this B peninsula or on the western side give myself that protection from the wind I'll get more light because the sun's obviously going to go down that way and yeah just get myself comfy get that fire started So guys, I've been processing down the wood for about two hours now, I've um, just been working away at the logs. I've had to go a bit further afield to find some dry wood because the stuff in here is either wet or it's just all been used up. Just, it's obviously such a popular site now. But yeah, I'm going to get everything ready um, for dinner. So I'm going to put my hammock up first, then get everything ready for dinner. It's half past two just now. I've probably got about maybe an hour and a half of decent sunlight um, before the sun disappears behind the hills and it'll be too dark, or it'll just be starting to get dark. So I'm going to go and get everything tidied up now, hammock up, and then get ready for dinner. Get that on the go. But yeah, it's just nice to be out, clear sky, it's going to be chilly, and have a good chance to check out this uh, under blanket and see what it's like.
you guys, here's my dinner started tonight. So I'm going to cook off this here, that is a venison, nice bit of red deer. And then I'm going to be putting it in the pot, getting it boiled and then just letting it stew for an hour and a half, two hours. Cannot wait. Well guys, that's me. As you can see, it's very dark. It is 6 o'clock, bang on 6 o'clock in the evening. Um, it got dark about the 4 o'clock, half past 4 mark, as I thought. I've had the stew on now for a good, what we are now, an hour and a half. So it's nearly ready, it's been bubbling away. So I'm going to tuck into this. I fished, I fished, fished. I fished my beer out the lock. So I'm going to sit now and just enjoy this stew, have this beer, and then do a wee bit of camp admin. Um, and just chill out and then get my head down for a good couple of hours and see what the morning brings. How you doing guys? So that's me now in the hammock. Um, I've just got out to adjust the under blanket. I think I had it hanging too loose, so there was air getting underneath it um, between me and the under blanket. So I've just readjusted that. Um, it feels snug now, um, not getting that draft anymore. So it's half past eight at night. I'm just going to get my head down. I'm absolutely stuffed from all that uh, stew that I had earlier on. But yeah, um, two missions are complete. Got the under blanket on the go and got a fire going. So all I'm going to do now is get asleep and I'll see what the morning brings. Until then, good night. Good morning guys, I'm just going to get a wee quick bit of breakfast here, a wee bit of bacon and tomatoes and then I'm going to have a bit of a tidy up, I'll take you over and I'll show you the under blanket fitted to the hammock and I'll, uh, I'll tell you how my night's sleep went in it. There you go as you can see, that's the under blanket hanging there. When I had it initially yesterday it was a bit lower than that because I thought that the hammock would fall into it when you were sitting or when you were laying in the hammock but what I actually done was the under blanket went down with it so you have to have it quite tight against the hammock um, and then when you go in the hammock you fall into it it's basically like a half a sleeping bag if you want so that stops the wind rushing underneath you or the wind that's going underneath you taking the heat away and I was snug as anything last night once I got it set up properly it was brilliant So as you can see, you've got these little uh, carabiners. I've just threaded them up, made another loop and doubled them back to tighten it up. And it just sits there nicely. With a hammock inside it. It's a bit looser at the feet end. And again, just another carabiner around the, the loops of the, the hammock tents, the hammock ropes. So that's that. Under blanket was a success. It really did make a difference um, from the last time. It was a lot chillier tonight or last night than it was when I was up at the, the other point trying out the hammock for the first time. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below for that under blanket. Um, it was only £23 off of eBay um, and it's done the job. It's brilliant. So yeah, good, uh, good result all around. But apart from that, that's it. This is my last outing for 2020. So if you like that video and you want to see more things like that, like over the winter I'll be doing more bushcraft style stuff rather than get into the hills, 
then uh, hit that like button and subscribe and you'll see more videos coming up over the winter months and then as the summer comes in i'll probably start going back up into the hills again start taking off some more monroes but until next time take care and i hope you have a cracking 2021 it can only be better than 2020 so until then take care and i'll see you later